Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to create this spiral logo shape idea, a really cool visual looking logo idea that you could potentially use across not just logos, patterns, branding, nice backgrounds to elements. Um, so it's a great idea that you could take and um, implement within some of your designs. OK, and trust me when I say it's a uh, very simple process that you need to follow, uh, which we're going to obviously cover today and show you how to create such design. OK, so what I'm going to do now is just select it and uh, remove it so that we can just start afresh here. OK, so I'm going to start off with our uh, lips tool and I'm going to press option uh, on the Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the center point and shift at the same time to keep it nice and proportionate. Wonderful. Now I'm just going to get that aligned nicely to the artboard there using my alignment tools. And I'm just going to come through and increase the size of this stroke probably to about 10 points there. Okay, so now what I need to do is just quickly change the uniform of this uh, element here. Um, as you can see now, we've got this nice sort of like thick to thin uh, line going around. But what I need to do is make four sections on this uh, current ellipse. And I'm going to do that using the scissors tool. And what we can do with this is a tool is make cuts on anchor points or on paths. And this point at the moment, I'm going to make that, um, cuts on all four of these anchors. So I'm just going to come here, cut, 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 and cut. Fantastic. Okay. So using uh, the selection tool, I'm going to select that top one there. And I want to select this one also as well. So we must press shift and then select it. And then with these both selected here, I'm just going to come to our stroke options. Going to make the caps in the corners rounded there. And as you can see, 25 points, which we can increase the gap size as well if you want to do that. Yeah, let's say about there, like that. Okay, wonderful. Now with them both selected still, I'm going to change the color. So let's use one of our preset swatches. And let's say around that kind of color there. Okay. Now with these four elements, I need to make sure that they are grouped up and the uh, shortcut to do that whilst all selected is Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows. Fantastic. And now what I'm gonna do is come to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then Transform. Now with your preview, preview switched on here, I'm just gonna come through and lower the size horizontally, probably to around 90%, just using my arrow keys on the keyboard to do that. And let's do that vertically as well, around 90%. I'm going to come through here and uh, just quickly change the angle. Let's say around 13. And we're going to come to our copies now and just increase the number of copies to the required amount. I'm going to keep going. And then we press OK. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create that spiral logo idea within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website at bluesclubgraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.